Hi students, today we will discuss for some of the question of transcription as we are done with this topic in two videos. So the first question of ours, the given figure represents the process of transcription in bacteria and the options are A DNA, B RNA, C rho factor, A RNA, B RNA polymerase, C rho factor, a RNA, B RNA polymerase, C sigma factor and A DNA, B DNA polymerase, C sigma factor and I think the answer is B right because this is the rho factor C which is responsible for the termination in prokaryotes. So this is the answer here. Second question of ours refer to the given diagram what does it represent and here you can see children that it represents the processing of HNRNA and here the capping, tailing and splicing where the introns they are removed and here in the last diagram you will be able to see the processed mRNA. So as we have discussed for the process you know HNRNA it is present in the nucleus of the cell and it has to be processed and in the processing the splicing capping and tailing takes place and after that the mRNA is formed which comes to the cytoplasm which is transported to the cytoplasm. So this is what this is transcription in eukaryotes. Next is in transcription in eukaryotes heterogeneous nuclear RNA HNRNA is transcribed by RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 3, RNA polymerase second all of these. Children as we know that there is a clear cut division of labor in the eukaryotes unlike that of prokaryotes and RNA polymerase second it is responsible for the transcription here it transcribes the heterogeneous RNA which is present in the nucleus and it is needed to be processed. Now come to the next question methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 5 dash end of HNRNA is a process of and the answer is capping right and what is tailing? In the tailing adenylate re residues they are added to the 3 dash end of HNRNA. So the next question of ours that is select the correct statements regarding the process of transcription in eukaryotes. Let us read one by one the strand of double stranded DNA which takes part in transcription process it is called as coding strand. The enzyme RNA polymerase can catalyze, catalyze polymerization only in one direction that is 5 dash 3 dash. An unusual nucleotide methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 5 dash end of HNRNA during capping and during tailing process adenylate residues are added at 3 dash end in a template independent manner. And I think that these three options they are correct because RNA polymerase catalyze polymerization only in one direction that is 5 dash 3 dash. An unusual nucleotide methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 5 dash end of HNRNA during capping and during tailing process adenylate residues are added at 3 dash end in a template independent manner. Here this option which is given this is wrong 
because the strand of double stranded dna which takes part in transcription process it is what it is the template strand not coding strand it is the template strand which is copied now next question of ours what would be the base sequence of rna transcript obtained from the given dna segment right and this is 5 dash 3 dash and and here 3 dash 5 dash and so the coding strand it is and the template strand which is also called as non coding strand it is so what will be the option here the option will be this one because polymerization takes place in 5 dash 3 dash direction that we know and it is the template strand which is copied right so this will be copied and we know that the mrna which is formed that is equal to coding strand the difference is in place of thymine the uracil is present this is the only difference so you can see here the same configuration but here the in place of thymine you will see the uracil in mrna so the option is a right so you can write here as option a now next question is if the sequence of bases in coding strand of dna is a t t c g a t g then the sequence of the bases in m r n a will be again you know the coding strand its configuration is equal to m r n a because what is copied the template strand it is copied so here the answer will be this one right and the only difference is in the mrna in place of thymine the uracil is there so you will be able to see here in place of thymine the uracil is there next question of ours if the sequence of bases in dna is g c t t a t g c a a then the sequence of bases in its transcript will be children this is what this is the template strand so just be careful here and the option will be this one because you can see here g base pairs with cytosine cytosine with guanine thymine with adenine again thymine with adenine adenine with uracil here guanine cytosine guanine again cytosine cytosine guanine and adenine with uracil because in the mrna in place of thymine uracil is there so you can see c g a a u c c g u u right so the option is c next question is given diagram represents the components of a transcription unit select the correct answer regarding it and these are the options so what will be our options a is what it is promoter b is what it is terminator right c it is the template strand and d it is the coding strand reason behind because the strand which is 3 dash 5 dash that is template and the 5 dash 3 dash and strand is coding strand and also the promoter it is present at the 5 dash end of coding strand so this will be the 
option. Next question is transcription unit. It starts with Tata box, starts with palindrus regions and ends with row factor, starts with promoter region and ends in terminator region, starts with CAAT region. And the option is transcription unit starts with promoter region and ends in terminator region right what this data box is this is the sequence which is present in the promoter and it is rich in AT now next question of ours during transcription the site of DNA molecule at which RNA polymerase binds it called as the options are promoter regulator, receptor and enhancer and the option is A, promoter. It is the region where the polymerase it binds and after that the unwinding of the DNA takes place. The last question of ours, polycystronic messenger RNA, mRNA usually occurs in and the options are bacteria, prokaryotes, eukaryotes, both A and B. And the option is both A and B. Because in eukaryotes, the monocystronic condition is present. And in the prokaryotes, polycystronic condition is present. So, for now, this is sufficient. And we will discuss more in the next upcoming videos. Be in touch and have a very good bye.